My current favorite stretchy cast on is a variation of Jenny's Slipknot cast on, but I find that one difficult to get even. So this is Tilly Buddy's variation on it, and I've just added a couple of one little twist. So I put the yarn over my left hand needle so that the tail is in the back and the ball yarn is in the front. I come in with my other needle. I hold that tail underneath the needle and to the front and I scoop up under that tail yarn. I pick up the ball yarn without twisting this loop. It's nice and open. I put it on to the left hand needle. Then I pull straight down and then I take that yarn to the back away from myself over the needle and down and there I have my first slip knot. I do the same thing. I bring the yarn behind the left needle over and to the front. I put my finger in there so that there's lots of room for my needle to get in. I pull the finger out, come up from behind that yarn in between the stitches, pick up the ball yarn, and I sort of pull forward until I have it nice and taut and right up against the previous stitch. Slip that onto the end of the left needle, pull down, and then up and over toward me to create that stitch. Finger in there to leave room, scoop up, pull taut, slip it on the left hand needle, pull down and taut, up and over. You'll notice that when I put this second, this loop back onto the left hand needle, it looks like two stitches. You don't want to stop there, you're only creating one stitch at a time. If the loop doesn't want to close like this, you've done it wrong. So you can pull it off and start over. You'll notice that to do that, I twisted the yarn onto the tip of that left hand needle and then it won't go forward and it won't create a nice slip knot. However, if I go in and put that yarn on the tip without twisting, it just slides like butter and creates a lovely stitch. This cast on is super stretchy and really quite lovely and elegant. Hope this helps.